Thanks for watching AM Northwest. Your pharmacist can do much more than just fill your prescription. Here to share some of the important ways they can help keep you healthy, we welcome from Moda Health Pharmacy Director Carly Rodriguez. Hi, Carly. Hi. This is fascinating to me. I had no idea the power of a pharmacist. Yeah. So you do flu shots, but you do more than just flu shots, right? Yeah, pharmacists can give a lot of different um, shots. So uh, flu is a really important one for people to get every year. And uh, they can give other flu shots that help pre prevent things like the shingles, pneumonia um, can do some really? travel vaccines yeah so do does could I just pop in and say hey can you give me the shot now or do you recommend like calling ahead and making sure that you have the vaccine yeah so you can absolutely pop in and ask but um, it may be a good use of your time to ask, call, call and ask ahead. if they have that, that particular sense. one um, yep. or if there's a good time that you wouldn't have to wait as long but um, absolutely you can stop by now something that I found interesting that I did not know before is you can give birth control um, prescriptions or pills t without a prescription. Yeah, so in Oregon, pharmacists are actually able to prescribe uh, birth control. So uh, they're required to take a training course um, and there are certain parameters around prescribing, but um, once a pharmacist goes through that process, absolutely, they can prescribe birth control. So in Oregon, but not in Washington? Um, yeah, I don't believe in Washington that you can um, okay. yet, but I'm less familiar with okay. uh, the Okay, and then you have to be at least 18 years old. Correct, okay. yeah. Okay, that um, makes sense. There are, in some cases, that under 18, they can be uh, prescribed as well. Oh, yeah. okay. And then the one thing that I've always been curious about, the expiration date on a prescription. Yeah. Do we need to pay attention to that? Yeah, so um, the expiration date can mean a couple of different things. So in Oregon in um, particular, most prescriptions are valid for a year. And so the prescription date that you might that you would see on the bottle is um, usually a year from the day the prescription was written. It could be a different date if the medication itself actually expires before then. Oh, so yeah. medication really does expire. It does. Okay, and so if I have an expired prescription, how do I get rid of it? Yeah. Don't dump it down the toilet. Right, so that's a great question. So there's uh, many different ways that medications can be disposed of, and actually some of them can just be tossed um, right in, in the, the garbage. garbage. Yeah, oh, and um, okay. many prescriptions will come with you know stickers on them that tell you how you could discard of a medication, but. Oh. Uh, there's also something really great that happens twice a year called the National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Oh. Uh, it happens every year in April and October. The next one is April 25th. So coming up. Yep. Yep. And um, that's an opportunity. Law enforcement agencies typically host sites that you can come drop off prescription medication that's unused. You can scratch out your name or your, remove your name or personal information. Yeah, that's and, important, I yep. think. Yeah. And it's no questions asked. You can bring uh, and drop off any prescription. Oh, there. that's yeah. good. Okay, so pay attention to that April date. And yeah. then, so spring break is coming up, people traveling. If you have medication and you're going on a trip, what are your recommendations? Yeah, that's a really great question, especially with a big travel season coming up. So. Uh, definitely recommend that you make sure that you have enough medication on hand to last for the duration of your trip. Um, so if you're going to be gone for longer than 30 days, many um, prescriptions can be filled for a 90-day supply at a pharmacy. Um, and if you uh, have concerns about that, you could call your health plan just to make sure that you can get access to enough medication to cover the length of your trip. But oh. I think the other really important tip is that uh, when you're traveling, if you take a medication regularly that um, you need, you want to make sure that you have enough on hand in your carry-on bag uh, to last you a couple of days because yes. if the airline loses your luggage or um, you're yeah. taking a train and they lose your luggage then uh, you want to make sure you have enough on hand to last you a couple of days. Right that's yeah. a good tip because I can't tell you how many times they just take my luggage at the gate so I would have to have it on my carry-on yep. luggage right because yep. sometimes that suitcase they just take it from you so yeah. very good tip carry-on luggage prescription when you're traveling. Yes. Okay, so if you want more information about Moda Health, just go to modahealthminute.com. We'll have that link on our website at katu.com. Thanks, Carly. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah.